Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 10. Today we will have, today we will have our second quiz on multiplication tables. And today's quiz is going to be based on the timetables or multiplication tables of 6, 7, 8 and 9. Those four tables. The quiz is going to be faster than the first quiz because we cannot take this long each time. By now I take it for granted that you have done the job that you were required to do which is to memorize the tables of 1 through 10. If not through 12, at least 1 through 10 by now you should have memorized by heart. You, you should have you should know by heart you, uh, so that's what I'm going to work under the assumption of and we're going to go a little bit faster than we had than we had gone in the first quiz there we go so as I'm putting down the problem on the blackboard you should be writing them down on a piece of uh, in your notebook put down today's date put down day number 10 and put down the answers right uh, right away as, as I put the problem don't wait for uh, later on for example six fives are seven ones are Seven eights are eight twos are six ones are six tens are seven fours are eight ones are six three six threes are and seven sevens are. Let's do them very quickly as I said. Well six fives is very easy, six fives are thirty. 6 5s are 30. 7 1s are 7. It's very straightforward. What about 7 8s? Now, if I cannot remember how much is 7 8s, if I have 7 8s, if I cannot figure out immediately, here's what you can do. 7 8s, immediately realize 7 8 has to be same as 8 7s. 8 7s. If you have 10, if you, if, if you, want, if you want 8, if you want 8, if we have 10, and if we take away 2, well, we'll have our 8. 10 minus 2 is 8. Nobody's going to argue with that. And we want 7 of them. We want 7 of them. 7 8. So let's multiply everything by 7. 7 8 is going to be the same as 7 tens minus 7 twos. The 7 twos are 70. Minus 7 twos. 7 tens are 70 minus 7 2, which is 14. 70 minus 10. 70 minus 10 would have been 60, therefore 70 minus 14 would be 56. Or if you don't like it, just subtract it. Only take a few seconds. It's 56. And of course that should not be surprised to us. That should not be surprised at all because 7 eighths is same as 7 sevens plus one more seven. I hope you know your square. 7 7 is 7 squared. 7 squared is 49. So it's 49 plus 7 which of course is 56. 49 plus 7, 49 plus 1 is 50, another 6 would be 56. 8 twos are 16, that's pretty straightforward. 6 ones are 6, that's pretty straightforward. 6 tens are 60. 7 fours, 7 fours are, well that's very simple. If we double the 7 we get 14 and if we double 14 we get 28. Whenever we have to multiply something by 4, that's the trick we use. We double the amount and we double the result. 8 ones are 8, that's pretty straightforward. 6 threes are, 6 threes are, well, 5 threes are 15, so if you have one more 3, it's going to be 15 plus 3. This is going to be 15 plus 3 because 5 threes and one more 3 is going to be 6 threes, and that's 18. 7 sevens, we just did that. 7 sevens are 49. 7 sevens are 49. 7 sevens are the 7 squared, which is 49. Let's do 10 more, shall we? Let's do 10 more. Six eights, seven threes, eight sixes, nine ones, nine fours, nine eights, eight fours, nine nines, eight sevens, and nine tens. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 
about eight sevens. Oh, sorry, eight six. Eight six, right here. Eight six is going to be same as six eights. Six eights. Well, six can be written as five plus one. And if you want eight of them, eight fives are forty. That I do know. Eight fives are forty. Memorizing the table of fives and ten is very easy. Eight fives are forty. We need. We know. We don't need. We don't need. Five eights, we need six eights, so we need to have one more eight. We need to have one more eight. One more eight is going to make it 48. Seven threes are, seven threes are 21 because it's seven plus seven, which is 14. 14 plus seven is 21. Eight six are going to be same as six eights, it's 48. Nine ones are nine, that's pretty straightforward. How about nine fours? Well, nine four is very simple. We just learned it a little while ago. When you have to multiply something by 9, we take the amount and we double it. We get 18. Now 18 is 2 9's. And we double it one more time. If we double it one more time, we get 36. And that's going to be 9 4's. 9 4's are 36. That also should not be a surprise to us that 9 4's are 30, 36. Why? Why? Because 9 4's is same as, if we want 9 4's, that's same as 9 is same as 10 minus 1. And if you want 9 4s, 9 4s are going to be same as 10 4s minus a 4. 10 4s, of course, we know is 40. Minus a 4 is going to be 36. How about 9 8s? 9 8 is a tough one, isn't it? 9 8s are, well, let's find out, shall we? 9 8s. 9 8s is what we're looking for here. We want 9. 9 is same as 10 minus 1. And this is something that you should do in your head. In your mind, 9 eighths. Well, 9 eighths, say to yourself, 9 eighths will have to be the same as 10 eighths, 10 eighths, which is 80, and then take away 1 eighth. Take away 1 eighth. So it's basically 80 minus 8, which is 72. 8 fours are? 8 fours are 32, because 8 plus 8 is 16, and if you double the 16, you get 32. 9 nines are? 9 nine, 9, that's 9 squared. You should know your squares. 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, so 4 squared, so forth, 9 squares. 9 nines are, well let's find out, shall we? We want 9 nines. You see, we want 9 9. 9 can be written as 10 minus 1, and we want 9 of them. We want 9 of them. We want 9 of them. So, 9 tens, which is 90, minus, uh, rather, 10 nines, 10 nines minus 1 9. 10 nines is 90, minus 1 9 is 81. That's it, we're done. That was the end of our quiz. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.